Hello friends, it's been a while since I've posted a video, uh, but I got this package in the mail from none other than John Rademacher, uh, Steve Rademacher's brother. If you don't know John yet, he's a great guy. Uh, I will be seeing him next week under less than ideal circumstances, but he did send me this package, which was very kind of him, and I felt it would be only appropriate for me to open it on camera and share it with you wonderful people. But I know John, there's probably a lot of custom creativity in here. And, uh, yeah, right in time for the holidays. Let's see what you got me here. That's it in there. So, oh, I'm already excited about the first one there because it is a Taylor Swift card. That's, uh, gonna guess it's custom, but John does such a good job. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Let's pull it out and see if it becomes more obvious. It does say Stadium Club on the front, so, oh, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty creative. There's a bunch of them in here. I, I, I feel like I, I gotta say that these are probably custom cards by, by, uh, Mr. John Rademacher, but, uh, still cool as heck. Bridget's gonna want those for me. She's gonna have to fight me for them. Oh, yeah, here we go. That, these are obviously more custom. Taylor Swift Era Tour Merchant Rain. $250. I must have missed that, uh, post, but it is now immortalized as a card. And here she is, Chicago, June 4th. Really close to my wife's birthday. Barbie Taylor Swift. And then uh, Barbie, yep, Margot Robbie. Great movie if you haven't seen it. Like, I mean, I thought it would be good anyway, but way better than I even expected. <laughs> Darth Vader. Uh, of course, that's Marty McFly in Back to the Future, trying to convince his dad to take his mom to the dance. Great scene. Uh, power Converters at uh, Tashi Station course referencing a new hope that's pretty freaking funny <laughs> mark hamill so creative john ah we're sound cough see if i can get that one autographed sometime it looks like he is on tatooine he is dressed as a padawan prince and purple where the purple lightsaber i actually have a purple lightsaber in my other room there um kind of like mace windows not exactly though but in that spirit taylor swift is a jedi john you do awesome work i hope you Get around to selling some of these things online because uh, I'm sure there'd be a lot of demand. Weird Al, who doesn't love Weird Al? Quick little side note I grew up in a household that my dad didn't like zany things like that, so I didn't know. I knew who Weird Al was, but I never saw any Weird Al stuff until it became an adult when uh, Monkey Fat Steve Ronemacher got my kids every Weird Al CD in existence and, of course, a copy of UHF. And all four of us at the time, the family has grown since then, fell in love with him. So. Great. I hope to see him in uh, live someday before uh, before he retires. There's Spock, which uh, I bet Spock would have been a badass Jedi. That is an amazing crossover. Uh, I'm sorry, John. I know you should be reading the back of these. I'll circle back around. Bucky Badger. Those Wisconsin boys love their their uh, Bucky Badger stuff. Any January. I love the boys. If you haven't seen it, very adult. Don't let your kids see it, and don't let your ultra conservative family members see it. But great show. I kind of want to get into the comics. Um, there is a Taylor Swift dressed as a cheerleader. Makes me feel things that I don't want to talk about online. Um, Black Pink Fruit Loops. I don't know the connection between them and Fruit Loops. Uh, maybe it's just something that. Well, let's see here. Black Pink Korean is a three South Korean girl group formed by YG Entertainment, consisting of members. Ooh, I'm going to screw that up, John. Four lovely ladies. The group debuted in two, August 2016 with their single album, Square One, with a feature whistle and Boombaya. Boombaya? I actually forgot a t-shirt with that one, and I sent it to John Rademacher, so, um... Ah, Bud Stoney! Great guy. Love you, Bud. Hope you're doing all right, man. Hope you get your power back on. He was without power for a long time. Uh, Jimmy Carter, one of the greatest in office, wishing me, but afterwards, one of the greatest presidents America has ever had. Mr. Rogers, who doesn't love Mr. Rogers? God, that's like great stuff here, John, man. I love all these. The Spice Girls. I, I think their music is catchy, but there's this channel that does a crossover of music, and they have Spice Girls Wannabe with um, Sulphur by Slipknot. It shouldn't work, but it is amazing. Go go, go to YouTube and look that up. <laughs> I love this picture of Steve. <laughs> Uh, Steve was well known for collecting stuff, most of it quite interesting. He was also known for having pool parties that featured soda slamming contests. Oh, Steve, I bet we would have been good friends in high school. 
As long as you kept your feet out of my face. <laughs> I remember when his foot looked like that. We were all on the help desk at that time. Taylor Swift, 1989. Sold one million copies each in their debut weeks. Yeah. Oh, for her, her first four albums all did. Amazing, amazing. Taylor Swift. There's a lot of them in here. I'm probably going to have to get rid of some of these. But, um, yeah. See, and John, he, like, he puts so much effort in it. I mean, the back of all of them have stories, too. I mean, this would be a really long video if I read them all. I, I will read them all, John. I promise you that. Uh, okay, so this, I think, is real. It's Japanese. Uh, either that or John is really amazing at coming up with all that stuff or text, or he just Google translated it or something. Um, I don't know what this is, but it the art is questionable to me. Um, I know it's a kid's thing, and it's supposed to be benign, but that, that just... I'm a pervert, I guess. Um, yeah, so Tentacruel, I think, is that one. Um, oosh, these are some of the newer ones. Bridget would know the name of these. I have them in Pokemon Go because my wife loves to play Pokemon Go, so I play Pokemon Go. Um, yeah, it's a fun thing to do when I can't geocache. That is one giant toxic rat thing. Uh, Vulture Bird. Vol something, rather. I don't remember exactly. Deli Kitty. I know that one. Don't know the name of this one either, but I have a shiny version of it. Snubble, maybe? Bird, more birds. I think that, that's similar to, ah, two for one. Are they the same? I think they're the same. Okay, these are, these West Shorbs. Shorbs Lysi, I don't think I know these ones. But uh, yeah, I, um, this, I'm glad you sent me this, John. I just thought of some things I need to dig out and give to you next week. Uh, yeah, so um, this is, a game, I suppose. Um, this card is a character. I got a couple more characters here. It is all in Japanese, so it is difficult for me to read. But uh, you gotta love the art, right? Girls kicking butt. Um, who doesn't love that? I know my daughter loves it. Big old anime eyes there. This one's got an eye patch. Pirate. We just finished watching One Piece. That's pretty good. Uh, the live action one. That one's got some... Oh, it's a headpiece. I thought it was like a Vulcan thing going on. And then, super cool, Aliens. Yeah. That's really neat. It's got... Oh, but that's interesting. Behind him, I thought it was going to be his, like, wall of, like, trophies. Because he, like, collects, like, the skulls of things. Those appear to be shoes. So, um... Uh, Requiem. Yeah, we actually just watched this one. Uh, the wife and I went through and watched all the Alien all the Predator movies. So, I recently saw this one. And, you know, there was a time there where they're... Uh, but they're actually the... Once you get past those couple that are sort of questionable, the later ones are quite good. John, these are amazing, man. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I do have some other things that I want to show you guys, but probably not today. I've been growing... I don't know if you're into Funko Pops at all, but I'm growing my Funko Pop collection. And I've got 20-some-odd, all autographed. I've decided I'm only going to collect autograph ones. But I will give you a hint that the phone that I'm recording this on, the cases of The Office... I'm a mega fan of The Office, so a lot of them fall into that category. But some other some other interesting ones, too. Uh, otherwise, most of the stuff stacked around here are stocking stuffers. Well, there's a sign on my door that says, Keep Out to the Family, um, which I might keep on there anyway, just because I like not having people in here messing with my stuff. Normally, it's just the me and the cat. Anyway, I'm babbling. Happy holidays, my friends. I hope everybody's doing great. I'm so excited to um, spend this time with my family. Uh, I've been able to jump on a couple of streams recently, seen a lot of you guys, uh, seen your names, and, and being able to chat with you a little bit. Uh, got to spend some time with Steve, great guy. If you're on my channel, you probably already know who Steve is. Um, and we uh, picked up some Holiday 2023. I got some Star Trek cards here that I need to go through, some uh, old school Hook um, collectible cards, and just a bunch of other, like, you know, nice old things like Bo Jackson's and some Salvi Perez's and uh, some... Uh, well, the things that I like to collect, Negro League inserts and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I didn't really have a plan when I went, went on to start record this. Uh, I just wanted to share this with everybody. Hang on a second here. Oh, that's the back of them. Thank you all. Thank you, John. Thank you, my friends. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Kwanzaa. Hanukkah. Whatever. Uh, well, today, actually, as I'm recording this, is Festivus. So, happy Festivus. Now for the airing of grievances. 
I have a lot of problems with you people, and you're going to hear about it. <laughs> All right. I will let you go so you can complete your feats of strength. Take care, my friends. Peace out.